practice distractions unless someone has a different intro. Feel free to interrupt, but Tamara, maybe you can lead with intentions and distractions and and we'll we'll see what happens. Sure. So my um my intentions are um really just to have a lot of fun with people that I love working with and to um, play around in Miro together. And uh, as the output of this meeting, to be um, triangulation on the date for when we will actually really be ready to hatch and totally open to, um, you know, wherever that is and having discussions around um, that is, I think going to be really, really helpful for everyone all together. Uh, distractions. Um, no, I don't have any distractions. I have nothing, no distractions. And with that, I will pass it to Santi. No, he so so I will on. pass it to Septimus. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I found my battery cord. I needed somewhere to running out of battery. So that was my distraction. And my intention, my intention is to get uh, Get into that middle board that Tamara is going to share with us and fill it with uh, a bunch of stickers and get everything coordinated from there. So I'll pass it to Zetimus. Yeah, thank you, Santi. I just want to bring some three things uh, fast. Like uh, for tomorrow call should be streamed, right? Just do yes or yeah, like yes, right? Tomorrow call on the yeah stream. Perfect. Uh, then like the transparency working group. Maybe it can wait to the next meeting or, uh, yeah, I, because if Tamara needs the time, I, I don't mind, but I, I just wanted to have some feedback on how it should be built or uh, do we need calls? I think it can be a thing, but I don't know, like we build it together, something like that. that but, uh, and, and yeah, that's all. Uh, no distractions. And I'll pass it to Griff. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be good to... Uh, take a second to talk about um, Transparency Working Group and the uh, also potentially maybe getting our working group posts on the forum so they're a little more accessible to people because I think that in the Google Doc it feels hidden. Like I don't, I, you know, we, we even though we link to it in our PC agenda notes every time. And so maybe um, I was going to propose that especially since TEC Params and Garden Swarm are now their own working groups. I need to rewrite my manifestos anyway. And I don't know if anyone would like to uh, maybe take this as an exercise to review our roadmap and, uh, and put it on the forum uh, for each working group so people feel like they have access to it. Um, wanted to propose that today and uh, but it might be informed and, and maybe it's not due like this week or something. Maybe we need to figure out this stuff that she's doing. Anyway, um, that is all, all my intentions other than uh, following Tamara's awesome stuff. I'm really excited to play with Miro. And uh, distractions, I'm eating a salad. I'll pass it to uh, Craig. Yeah, hello. Um, intentions are to work. Follow you and distractions are numerous. I'll pass it to Jess. Yes, intentions just let Tamara lead us. I will be very glad for that. And <laughs> distractions, I've got to pack up. We have to pack up our van today, and we've been we're flying on Friday. So lots to do, and I'm, I don't know how active we need to be. I thought it was maybe going to be like a Zen Hub thing where we go over each working group. Um, if it, full attention is needed, I'll do that. And if, we, if you only need attention from us, Tamara, for like our specific working group, I may do some other things. So let me know, and I'm happy to do either. I'll pass it to Miss Livia. Miss Livia. Um, my intentions are, yeah, to 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 go to go with Tamara, <laughs> understand what is critical to hatch, and I I didn't hear hear about the transparency working group, so I got curious about that, and just to quickly reply to Griff that 
I'm putting the, the working groups in the forum tomorrow. They're almost ready. So that could be something like the manifestos are there, but we could definitely have a session to update them. And yeah, no distractions right now. It's back to you, Tim. Awesome. Um, so Jess, I think this is really going to be a, um, a working session mm -hmm. and uh, you see how, uh, how, how uh, you, you um, participate uh, how you need. And if there's uh, you know, dead time, then, you know, uh, you know, jump off or mute. Okay. So, um, can everyone see my screen? Awesome. We should let we should let uh, Wonka also check in. Oh, sorry, Juan. Juan, are you there? You're muted. Yes, I'm having connection issues, so I'm connected uh, from the phone. So yeah, um, um, I wanted to share. Um, something with you guys but um at the end of the call because i think uh, it would be the right moment any um are you going to be able to use mural i will keep you updated as uh if electricity comes oh cool man no worries thanks for coming anyway man Thank no, you so much. I'm, I'm happy to be here. And then Tonga, um, do you have any, do you have, do you want to state any intentions or distractions? Mm, no, I don't have any. <laughs> cool. So just so you know, this is a community stewards meeting. Glad to have you here, Tonga, but you probably won't be too active in it. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I was just taking you, a look. Yes. You can definitely stay. This is not like anything, there's no secret cabal here. So you're more than welcome. Uh, if you want to see our roadmaps, it might be fun. But OK, maybe I live in the middle, but uh, yeah. Cool. OK. All right. Um, and so Tamara, the one thing I want to say is let's leave like 10 minutes at the end for Transparency Working Group and uh, other comments in one. Mm, uh, okay. Uh, shoot. Just a reminder to myself. Transparent. Don't see? don't worry. I'll I'll call you out on it. Okay. I'll do this morning. Okay. So um, that's not a whole lot of time. But let's see what we can do. And I don't want to rush, but I will um describe our the objectives that I have for this working session, and then show um you the mural board. You can run around, I mean, jump around yourself as well, and then start these two sessions. I was thinking they would take at least 20 minutes or more each. So we probably aren't gonna have time for that this session unless we um, have it run a little long, if that's possible. But uh, let me just state, state what I, I think our objectives are. And it is um, to sort of set our baseline for what factors, key factors are, will impact the success of the hatch not just internally, but externally too. Um, in this area, I've already put the, we are in a bull market is something that is outside of our control, but is critical to the success of the hatch. There are probably, there are many other things. I'd like us to take maybe only, you know, three, four, five minutes to, um, to populate that. And I'm separating it basically into the advantages of a more aggressive timeline versus the advantages of a slower timeline, um, because I think there will be there's many advantages to both sides, and then we can sort of see a balanced weight between the two. The second um, objective is a shared understanding. So we're all one team working in different streams, and um, I think it's healthy for us to all know what every uh, critical to hatch milestone is in each working group, um, because a lot of those will impact our own working groups. And then lastly, um, a realistic target date for the hatch that we can share publicly. You know, yesterday I was on the TE Academy token engineering intro with Angela, and um, I think everyone in the community is still using our old roadmap 
that says we're hatching in December because she was describing uh, TEC to the participants of the course and said that we were hatching in, de in December. So I think we still have time now to get in front of that message. Um, but by January, it's too late for, for us to, to be proactive about it. So I think if we can triangulate our timelines, oh, yay, everyone's working, I love it, keep, keep going. Um, if we could triangulate our timelines, uh, we, can, we can give a realistic um, roadmap back to the community. Uh, and then I think we should just have fun with this. A mirror board is such a wonderful playground. It's my first time really using it, and I've fallen in love with the, the hour or two hours that I've been playing with it. Um, and then the transparency at the, at the end. So um, actually, part one is what you guys are doing right now, the key factors. I am just going to set a timer for three minutes and then check in uh, to see where we are and if we need more time. How do I add a, a post in here? Um, here is the icon for sticky note. And then you can select a color. Is that PC? Awesome. Okay, we're at three minutes. Um, show of hands if we want to uh, spend a few more minutes thinking this through. I'll start reading them out loud so we're all on the same page when we look at these. Um, the advantages of a slower timeline. Um, we only have one chance to do it right more quality on the deliverables, more time to educate our hatchers, more time to test our cultural assumptions and agreements, no reason to rush, more chance to activate the trusted seed community, we can build more trust, more time to discover important considerations for parameters, more time for contract audits, have time all the, have 
um, have time all the group to understand all the key areas of the project to participate, more time to deep think and agree on rules and boundaries. Okay. Um, advantages of a more aggressive, it'll never be perfect. Um, the bull market um, will impact our um, hatchers. Deadlines move us forward. A lot of work can be done post-hatch and we will have more time to participate to help. We will have no funding for TE public goods until we launch. We have no funding for our working groups until we launch. Use the momentum we have now. More time for improvement as we find sooner issues, issues sooner. Improve while working, people need funding. Um, I'd like to open up uh, if there is, um, I'd like to ask if anyone wants to um, give their point of view on uh, if you feel we have to move more aggressively or much more slowly. Overall. More aggressive. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. The only concern I have is the, is technic, is the technical issues. Uh, I mean, whenever those guys are ready, I think we should launch. Uh, so that's my my only concern. The rest of the things can be can catch up, but of course we need we need the the you know the house built before before launching. That's my only concern. We're definitely not going to hatch until until the tech is ready to launch. Up. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, agree. Um, would anyone else like to voice their opinion? I think for me, once we have the proposals up, it's really important that we have a momentum there because people are going to be like waiting for this moment since their proposals are ready. It's a very good point too. I feel like we need to be balanced um, I think we'll gain more insight when we look at the actual issues. I think that's what's been missing, and I know that's what we're doing in this meeting. But I would say we have a lot of work, and I think we'll have a better sense as well after the holidays. I feel like personally, like we've all been pushing so hard. I don't see how we could push harder. I think take a break, rest up, and maybe we'll feel differently. I think we may feel completely differently after the holidays as well. So but I'm down to like take care of people. I'm, I'm looking out for how is people's personal, like mental, physical health, like how, how they feel about how hard they're working instead of like pushing from the outside to understand and hear from people, how are they feeling with the workloads and what is realistic before answering that question, I guess. Yeah, no, very good point. Um, if we if we, we we should have a process for handling people who are feeling very overloaded i i totally agree with you not a process but like some way to ensure that people aren't getting burned out if if that's happening um i don't know exactly of any okay yeah okay um so the reason we, i want to sort of just have us thinking about in terms of like the advantages of slower and faster is because we're going to list all the milestones and then we're going to assign them to sprints now we're we will change things will um things you know we're not going to be married to this this planning but we should really try to have a plan that we can commit to publicly and then commit to internally ourselves so the objective of starting with like aggressive versus slower timeline is for us to consider the fact like all the factors um before we start the next the next process i mean the next exercise um, I agree with the idea of um, my own opinion is I really agree with the idea of, of finding balance. And I think um, what is going to drive the timing is going to be um, the months, the order they have to be done in, the interdependencies, and how we can space them out across the next few sprints, as well as being discerning on the must haves versus the nice to haves. And the must-haves are um, are the ones we really want to focus on for right now. Um, on this board, there are uh, sorry here. 
Um, I'm not getting this to, yeah, here we go. Um, there's this, I'm not getting my, hold on one second. Uh, so for each working group, including common stacks, which is in a working group, but is uh, has some interdependencies. There is a post-it note color assigned. And um, what I'd, what I'd um, like to see here is just the highest level milestones, not small issues, not details, but what you would feel comfortable publishing on a roadmap. You know, the group has this many proposals. You know, not necessarily the steps to get there, but like the 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 milestone when you know that 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 work is done. And um, in this section, should just be critical to hatch. The absolute must haves cannot launch without. Um, and then there's hatch phase and post hatch phase, and the nice to haves that we can launch. Uh, that would be nice to have. We can identify as nice to haves and put either in a hatch phase or post hatch phase. Sorry, can I just ask a question? Yes, please. I just did. Um, can I ask a second? Oh, no. Um, so you mean we should be listing like epics that are reflected on the board or kind of more general? Um, I'm going to leave it to you to, um, I'm going to leave it to everyone who, um, who's managing a working group. J just, you know, what are the key things, the key milestones that your group has to achieve before we can launch? They don't have to tie to an epic. Very likely, they are an epic. But I don't. I want this to be more like a brainstorming session where you know you know the things that your group needs to achieve, and that's what's your definition of ready for the hatch for your working group. What are those big items that have to be finished? Um, I'm gonna take any questions, but I'm also gonna give everyone five minutes. I mean, we'll have more, but I'm gonna uh, be on mute for five minutes and then check in after five minutes. Does that sound okay? Cool. I, sounds good. I say we get started. I'm almost done with mine. I feel like mine are really easy for tech brands. And I wanna pitch this idea of bull market. So while everyone's working, feel free to go and think about your stuff. But remember, I, our Consider the thought exercise of what happens when people buy in to the T of the requirements of the roadmap. So we're going to have a hatch, maybe it's 20 days, maybe it's 30 days, right? Where people are able to send money into the hatch. Then there's gonna be a period of time between upgrading between the hatch and upgrading to the bonding curves. That is likely to take a week could take up to a month if there's social static. If we don't have a, a so if everyone's not on the same page and there's debating about the parameters or something, we don't do things right. There's there's definitely a, a chance that that from hatch to bonding curve is two months. That that's a real possibility. So now, if people put into the hatch and the price is going up. They feel really good about TEC. They feel like, yes, this was great. Like, you know, uh, speculators post hatch, there's this locking period where people can buy in. And uh, during that locking period where there's a cliff and no one can sell, uh, if, they're, if it's bull market time, dude, that token will go to the moon. It's wild. It's wild. And it, it's not about the money. It's about the feeling of everyone that the TEC was a great idea, right? And if instead, after the two month period or potentially two month period, now bull market is over and the price is tanking, we're gonna have a lot of trouble having anyone buy into the TEC during that cliff period. Now, I'm not saying that's a death spiral or something for our community, but we do lose this opportunity of, uh, you know, getting a lot of extra funding into the DAO and into the, the bonding curve, into our system, and a lot of attention and a lot of positive momentum to kickstart the project. Because when the price starts going down and, every, and, and the main players understand that 
the bull market's over. <sighs> Shit gets difficult. So uh, that's that's the uh, bull market tag. Anyway, thanks for the time. Thank you for explaining that. We're at five minutes, uh, so this is just uh, me checking in. Um, probably uh, we need more time. I just want to have some feedback from um, everybody. Uh, we need five more minutes. Does that sound right to everybody? Does anybody not need more time? I need 20 more seconds. I don't need more time. I could use a few more minutes. Cool, I'm gonna do uh, five more minutes, but as people are ready, just say ready and we'll stop when everyone's ready. Also, um, Eduardo's not here, so I don't see any stickies for onboarding. That's pretty important. If anybody's finished and wants to jump in to represent that. Yeah, I, I can throw on some onboarding real quick.
I see lots of stuff happening, but I don't know what any of it is. So I will keep watching, and hopefully my connection stays. Are you able to join the Miro, Peg? Yeah, I just got into it. Oh, nice. Um, we're writing down roadmaps. You can write it with me if you like. Um, like crit, uh, a proposal roadmap from now until whatever for onboarding. I mean, the yellow thing right here. Uh, test param tech params are done. Okay, uh, second five minute timer went off. Um, can you tell me if you need more time? Livia, do you still need a few more minutes? No. Okay. <clears throat> okay, excellent. So um, um, I am going to suggest we go straight to the next part rather than reviewing them together. Um, and I would say, uh, and then we'll review them together at the end uh, when, you, when you add them to the sprint board. So this is the sprint. Um, we are finishing sprint four this week and sprint five starts on Monday. I put the dates here um, just to give you an indication mm -hmm. of you know, beginning of January, end of January, beginning of March. Um, each sprint is a two week period. It starts on a Monday and ends on a Friday. Everyone is really familiar with it, I think now. And um, I would say take, if you can, um, to the, your best estimation, when these major milestone pieces can be, um, will be ready, will be delivered. Just drag them over to where you think they all where you think they fit. The exercise here is really, um, you know, you you have a degree of confidence that the uh, the the milestone will be is achievable with two week period.
I'm going to set another timer for five minutes.
Okay, the first five minutes is up. Um, can you indicate if you want I'm ready. Cool. Anybody want a few more minutes? Okay. Um, oh, we didn't do onboarding. Uh, here. Here, I can I can do onboarding while we start with other things. Cool. Um, would anyone like to volunteer to go first or should we just go down the line? I guess if Livia's handling mine, I'm happy to volunteer to go first. Um, I could even also do garden swarm if that's uh, needed. It's like, yeah, that would, be, that would be fantastic actually. Cause Asante okay, so. mentioned. Sorry, guys. I was just going to say, as Santi mentioned earlier, it's all, uh, I think everyone also wants to know an update on where we are with the tech. Okay, well then I'll quell, quell everyone's uh, curiosity and uh, start there. Garden Swarm, so working on Hatch front end right now. Uh, there's nothing blocking the Hatch demo. Honestly, I feel like this should be more like this. Like it, it should happen this, this sprint. Um, if, not this, if not by tomorrow, then the weekend. Um, after that, then we, on the demo, we have the, um, We'll have the next, in this sprint, we'll end up having the test where we move to the augmented bonding curve, the migration test, where the DAO has to vote on new parameters for the bonding curve. So that'll be cool. And then we have the smart contracts of the hatch uh, frozen. That's, uh, th that's really a big step because there were a lot of new smart contract changes that have never been tested before in the hatch. So we need to give time for that review, a uh, smart contract review. I do have people that are able to support that smart contract review. Of course, if you know anyone, uh, more is always better. Um, but then we have uh, probably one more rehearsal while those are going into reviews because we have time. Um, and then we'll have the smart contracts hatch will be done being reviewed. And uh, the smart and any changes will be made to the hatch, and then uh, then hopefully before that we before we allow the hatch to launch, we have uh, the smart contracts of conviction voting and bonding curve frozen. And honestly, they're 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 done already. So we really that should just be that's more of a that's more of a like. Um, feature creep stopping from ourselves uh, on the garden storm, like trying to add new things. And then we have the hatch launch. And then after that, uh, the launch, while the launch is happening, we can uh, work on the front end for conviction voting and bonding curve, just getting those a little tighter. Um, should I just present TEC params or? I'd say go for it. Okay. Uh, for the params, we are going to do forum posts for every parameter. Uh, and we're now that Jake is on it, we're making major progress. Then we create a, a spec for the rehearsal. So uh, once we have the, the demo out, the test hatch, the next round, we'll just write a full specification for it so people can see all the options in a in the correct for something that has already launched and then we're going to have basic cad cad models this is not like anything crazy it's more just like python that describes the parameters uh, and shows people the results of choosing some parameters and what that will look like uh, i have to write those with ygg then we have a call for proposals uh for phase one parameters basically a hatch and danny line down uh, and then while we're debating those proposals on the forum, and it should be really easy to make that proposal because we'll have the rehearsal spec that you can just use to copy paste and then uh, change the parameters. Uh, but hopefully that we'll have the CAD CAD models to like say what that even means when you pick those numbers. 
Then we'll, we'll, while that's happening, we'll work on the CAD-CAD models for the phase two parameters, which are a little more complicated because it's a bonding curve and conviction voting, but there's also a lot of work there. It's already done. Uh, and then we'll vote on those phase one parameters. So I, I think we need like a two week distance between starting the vote and making the call for our phase one parameters. And then after that, we're ready for hatch. Uh, that's, those are the requirements for us. And then, uh, but while that's while we're hatching, we'll want to have a, a proposals for phase two parameters, and we'll need to vote on phase two parameters. Although the vote will probably will technically happen by the hatchers, whereas this vote will probably happen on the forum. Phase one parameters is hatch, and two is bonding curve and conviction voting. Yeah, is that correct? Okay. Excellent. Um, so we should keep pushing. Nice. Um, okay. Um, volunteer, or shall we start with communications? Does anybody want to volunteer? I can go. I can yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I guess for communications, I feel like I still have some gaps. Maybe it's just asking a few questions, particularly related to the C-Stack token. I feel totally in the dark about that because I haven't been going to legal. Um, so yeah, I guess communications feels, I'm sorry? Communications, I feel very dependent. Like I feel like a lot of my work has a lot of dependencies and so that is the challenge, but I also feel there are things that we can deliver on. I guess here the first thing that's easy is branding consistency and it may not sound like a big deal and everybody thinks we already have branding but it's actually not complete yet so Marco and I should have that finished before Christmas to be able to have like all of the templates going forward for this is the final branding look um, which is important because it's a meme really and it's gonna attract the vibe the people um, and then I have TLDR for the hatch params, so I'm kind of waiting on the deep dives to be finished so that we can communicate that in a condensed form and get feedback from um, all the people you suggested, Griff, like Zargum and Simon and some of our trusted seed folks because um, they're busy uh, and it's a lot to read. Then I feel like having a CRM or email or tracking platform really organized is important because Otherwise, all of our work is going to be ridiculously manual. So I think that for me is a must have, um, which Chris and Dergados are working on. And then I feel like the story canvas and having this like overall narrative, I put it for this sprint, but I'm going to start working on it sooner because it is really important to guide the communications. Like Griff had said, gave me feedback. He liked your economy, your choice. So kind of like we need to more on this like documentation wise and how we want to tell the story and then um clear communications about the c stack token aspect that's why i haven't written a hatch article which i was talking to griff about yesterday so i feel like we can't really like i could write a hatch article now with what we've got but there's so many things still being decided so i'm kind of like feeling into what does clear communication really look like? And that kind of is coming along with the hatch requirements. So maybe the hatcher, actually I should probably maybe move that to like, it's based on the hatcher requirements. And then having the new TEC Discord to me is a must have. It's debatable what that actually means. Uh, for me, it's just having organized channels and like an organized onboarding workflow, like a onboarding flow there. And then visuals to explain the hatch because words and text are great, but having the visuals to explain what this all is is going to be really important. And I'm already working on that with Marco and Santi. I saw your awesome thing that you did with Sam and Jake um, that will help to guide. But we may have a few iterations because we could do at least do like a first run and just say it depends on the parameters. But um, Let's see. And the final two things are like the full batch of clear, easy to understand documentation, education and onboarding materials. That's kind of still I need maybe help fleshing out what that list is. 
Like what, what are the content pieces that we don't have that are necessary? The biggest one for me is the hatch and conviction voting one, but I feel a little bit blocked based on the hatcher requirements for that. So yeah, I maybe need some help to flesh out what is our like target must have goal for communications and content. And then the final thing is uh, the hatch, obviously like the content on the hatch app itself and the onboarding video there. And I've got other nice to haves, but for me, those are the main things and where I'm kind of feeling a bit stuck and could use help fleshing that out. Okay, um, I think what we should do is go through everybody and then have more general comments online across all of the working streams. Is, um, so Olivia, would you like to go next? Yeah. Uh, so for me, cultural agreements and a process to revisit and change them. Uh, this is pretty much in the works from uh, the call we had yesterday. And then um, mutual accountability process that we're going to discuss in the next call. But it's good that the gets into the January sprint because we're going to start talking about it next week and then until we have like processes that are approved and that we decide to work on them that will take a, a little bit of time and then uh reward system uh thanks Jess for adding this one yeah we're we need to flush out a little bit more with source cred and what are our options for us to have a very like organized list of what is the reward system post hatch and then participatory decision culture um all working groups submitted proposals for the decisions they want to take so this is just making sure that the decision making process is being used and and that we can gather all the decisions from all the working groups and make sure they were all approved. And then um, working groups continuous flow is established. So I have this idea that the working groups will never stop. And that's how we're going to like make sure the culture is resilient. And I think the way to do that is to structure the community stewards as a working group itself, and then uh, establish a communication between all the working groups and the community steward working group, and have more of a like outside communication to, like that's kind of what we do in the Thursday call already, but structuring this a little bit better to manage all the flux we'll have post hatch. And then the TEC case study that uh, Ata is working on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be ready by February. And then from here to the cultural handbook should be really easy. Just a matter of organization of all the information that is here into a like practical uh, how to do kind of thing. You're muted, Tim. You're muted. I just want to note that it's one minute to the top of the hour. And uh, for me, there's nothing more important to the, than this. So I'd love us to keep going. Is there anyone who um, can't continue? Go real quick, so I'd love if I can go now. Jump in, Santi. Okay. Uh, okay. Legal. I, I feel legal. Will I? Oh, I can hear myself. All right. You guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we hear you. Yes. Okay. Uh, legal. We we depend a lot on 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 tech and also on all the work that the uh, guys at the common stock are doing. So basically, we uh, apparently and according to Griff. We're gonna have the uh, onboarding app ready, so I suppose that probably in the next spring we will have that ready, and we will be able to start 
uh, onboarding hatchers. And that process is going to take uh, several sprints because uh, we will keep, uh, you know, onboarding uh, new and new people as weeks go by. And while we are still working on on and testing all the uh, all the tech, uh, on top of that, we have uh, we need to have all the uh, signed pa paperwork. So uh, for the association, so uh, everyone that joins uh, is covered, as we have everything uh, put together. And <clears throat> and finally, uh, once we launch uh, or during the hatching phase, we can finally uh, work on the terms. Uh, for the proposals, so we we, we are ready uh, to sign whatever we need to have signed with uh, anyone that, that we uh, that we are providing uh, funds uh, for. So that's basically what I foresee as the as the main uh, the main path for legal. Okay. Um, okay. I can go next. Um, sure. I just if if Santi, you have to jump off, sure. then I'd love just to have feedback on legal before um, before Santi jumps off. Does anyone want to uh, raise anything that they see in the legal work stream? I I got ideas on every one of these. I'm sure. So uh, I, I, uh, I just want to say, I think that having, there's like some clear deliverables of like terms and conditions at every step that a person takes, what they have to sign uh, that might need to be part of this. I don't know if that's sign all legal paperwork or not, but, uh, and then uh, it should probably also be coordinated with SoftGov continuously throughout the process so that the, the cultural agreements are part of the legal agreements as well. Yeah, I was considering uh, on that sign and legal paperwork uh, part of the uh, terms with the uh, with the members also. But I agree, uh, we gotta be uh, linked with uh, soft government. Yeah, I mean, there's the there's the terms that the hat the people have to sign to be part of the common stack. Uh, and for their membership, but then there's the terms for the bonding curve. I guess those bonding curve terms and conviction voting terms don't aren't a blocker for the hatch, but they should be in the works. The, but there's probably going to be extra terms for the hatch as well. I just need to sync with Chris to to understand all the paperwork needed, but uh, but. I think that we might be quite uh, ready by the time uh, we have the technology ready to launch. Definitely. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Then Juan Carlos. And Juan Carlos. Okay. Um, I'm jumping out, guys. I'll, think, watch jumping out guys. I'll watch the video later on. I'll watch the video later on. Ciao Santi, gracias. Uh, well, I think that um, the base point that we are trying to um, start and from the, uh, the one we are like uh, standing in this moment is uh, of the point of recognition and respect of different points of view. Um, I think that after that, it's important uh, to uh, inform the people on what is conflict management and what is gravity and to ensure that we have high vibes about it because um, it, it is very important that uh, people relate to this system and that they accept it and that they can uh yeah have keep high vibes with, with uh this um uh, management layer that we are trying um i think that after that um we have to consent 
on the mutual monitoring. I think that is going to be uh, the key topic of tomorrow's uh, Gravity Working Group call, uh, that we are going to talk about the importance of mutual monitoring and if we can like uh, have a, at least a, a consent, yes, on, on, on this strategy of mutual monitoring. Um, and then um, we, we have to uh, have the le legitimacy of the social agreement on, on gravity. I, I associate um, these first tasks to the epic of um, role design of the conflict of, of the conflict managers, and then um, I jump to the uh, epic of process, um, where I first think that we have to have acceptance on the graduate exam, and then we have to uh, have the conflict management process finalized. But um, what I understand of having the, the conflict management process finalized is to have like a document <laughs> where, where um, all the process is, is stated and also um, um, yes, where, where in the document where, where all forms and where all steps of the process are like really detailed. And after that, I think that uh, we have to pick uh, conflict managers board that um, uh, it's about the, the, the first conflict managers and the training uh, they're going to receive. Uh, and also like insights they can make of, of their initial labor. I think that um, for the hatch, it's, it, it's critical to, to keep high vibes, to have like uh, recognition and respect of the different points of view, and to have like legitimacy of the. But I think that co agree, uh, the consent of graduates, the consent of the pro of the finalized process, and the and the pro and the consent on the onboarding conflict managers can be done post hatch. That's my initial uh, thoughts. Okay, can we, would you mind if we uh, move them then to the post hatch? Uh, this board should really reflect everything that's critical to have. In my, in my thinking right now. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Oh, um, I think what you what you said is the uh, designated conflict managers in training can move to the um, hatch phase or post hatch here. Is that did I hear that incorrectly? Incorrectly. I'm. So, yeah. Can you I hear me? Okay. That I'm hearing can, can okay. Can okay. I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna recycle. I mean, in the end, there a lot of the stuff that one needs to be done is for post hatch. So I think one, I think he's just ahead of the game. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. So we've covered everything. Shall we go through feedback overall and on the board and um, really, Griff? We didn't I'd love do to. Oh shoot, we didn't do onboarding. Yeah, right. I, uh, I can do it really quick though, and I wanted to say, Zeptimus, I saw you on mute. Are you okay to stay in this call, or do you need to roll? No, no, it's fine for me. Okay. Yeah. Good. Cool. Uh, okay, so onboarding. Uh, for me, like getting the ten, so having some easy to follow documentation is something that needs to be continually maintained. Um, ten plus uh, test proposals on the forum should be doable next sprint. Uh, we should be able to collect all the hatcher requirements by sprint after that, and create a how to become a hatcher guide. 
Um, I say we, you know, I'm not as active on this thing, but I'm just going going to throw stuff out there. Uh, then what what really with this how to become a hatcher guide, you know, there's going to be a lot of one on one stuff too, uh, because most of the hatchers that we really want are very busy people. So we need to train a team of hatcher onboarders and then uh, swarm, you know, uh, everyone pick some people, maybe do some events, uh, but do major outreach efforts. And then uh, we should be able to gather soft commitments as like a uh, finalized, like, okay, you're in, right? How much do you think you will contribute? And that's kind of like the definition of done for each hatcher getting that soft commitment and uh, also getting the at least 20 plus TE public goods projects uh, on, on the forum. And that should be it. Once we have that, then, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's probably left off this, like um, making sure it's easy for on hatchers to onboard themselves. Uh, but I think this is good. Okay, um, excellent. So if we look at the overall board, really just feed, open up to feedback on any point that anyone wants to raise on it. I would It's love interesting. Sorry. Go ahead, Sam. I just wanna say it's interesting. I, put, I chose an arbitrary sprint to, to, to end on. <laughs> and I wonder if I chose more, if we would spread it out, if, I, if there were fewer, if we would squeeze it in. <laughs> Sorry, go, continue. I'm confident of that. Uh, but you know, also that there's some things that need to be done before that are blockers and some, some things that aren't. But one thing that I saw here is that like in comms, like the TLDR for hatch params feels like it might be a hatch parameter thing. And the CRM feels like it might be an onboarding thing. Whereas, so I don't know if those are, uh, uh, the story canvas might be a, uh, and the branding assets are for sure only comps. And the visuals and the memes. Mm -hmm. I have one question to Griff. Um, you, you, you were talking about the bull market and that we have to like try to, to profit and like try try to uh like yeah try to look ahead of it and and to yeah t uh, profit from the bull market like seeing this sprint do you think like um if if in, we are, if we follow this this sprint are we are going to be too slow for for the prof, for profiting the bull market, or do you think that yeah we need to squeeze this, or if it, it's okay? I think um, is Griff it's frozen, frozen for anybody else? He's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. I'll I'll make a comment. I might differ from Griff, but I don't think 2021 is slowing down. There's a lot of hype around 2021 being the big year. Like, who knows? No one knows, really. Yeah. But I don't. I feel like 2021 could be also, you know, having more bull runs. It's hard to say anyway, but. Yeah, I, I agree. It's impossible to say, but it is uh, compelling that we are in the heart of it. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're in it. And uh, we know it's here, and we don't know how long it'll last is sort of the uncertainty. But it always comes in cycles. Like, it's not like this will be the last bull run ever. There are these big ones at least mm, two to three times a year, where well, maybe once a year where it goes up like 10 grand. But it definitely runs in cycles and patterns. So, yeah, it could be like if we don't catch this one, maybe another one won't come for six months. But it's so hard to say, and there is hype around 2021. So, and if the vaccine for COVID comes out, the markets will maybe also be reflecting a positive switch. Or actually, we're hitting the all-time highs of 2017. That was really the last uh, one that was this large. 
so it's true that there are cycles, but um, we're really, you know, within, I mean, in some measures, we've exceeded the all-time highs of 2017, but we're, we're really quite, um, it's, it's a very unique phase, this one, all things considered. Good point. And it is feasible that, like, okay, maybe, maybe we we pit we yeah, pat her we out. Yeah, can never predict this stuff. And then it's like we wait for the next halving, right? Like part of this is driven by the halving in May, and we may have to wait four more years for for this to happen again. So it's true; it's we 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 can't be sure. Um, and it, there, it feels like there's a lot of energy, but that energy we felt before, and sort of really petered out in the beginning of 2018, not to be seen again until now. And it's not about uh, profiting as much as it is about psychological win, you know? And I, I say this a lot from the common stack perspective where, you know, if we have one major success where we have a hatch and then a lot of speculators come in after the hatch because bull market, whether we like it or not, the, we'll just believe that it's because we're really good, you know, because the TEC was such a great idea. You know, and it, it doesn't even matter. You could launch the stupidest thing r right now and it will work. So we need to make sure that we launch in that stupid time where we can't fail uh, because this concept, we will learn a lot whether we launch with a failure or a success, but we will have a lot more future success if we launch with a success, you know? Yeah. So Juan's question is, what do you think about this timeline that's appearing on the board in reference to that? I think it's dangerous. I think it, I think it might work, but it's hard to know. And uh, the, the real challenge is we don't, there's a lot of also, because we're launching in two parts, it becomes a very extended launch. So... Uh, that's that's my fear. I think it's fine if we like it'd be great. I, I'm sure we'll still be in bull market by February, but I don't know if we will be by April. Okay. Well good to have that so, understanding. And that's that's the thing we need the bull. Griff, we are, um, I'm losing, uh, I, I'm not hearing you come in anymore. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna go. Is there anything else uh, that we should? I just want to say two things that uh, then um, it's going to be really important to think uh, and rethink what is critical uh, to have for the hatch and what can we still hatch to prioritize. And the other thing that is a topic, um, I want to comment it here in the steward, is that um, this Friday at 8 p.m. set, we invited uh, Sam to give a talk to the LATAM uh, Ethereum community. And he's going to talk in a metaphorical language about conviction voting and bonding groups. And he's going to talk about the spirit of commons. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to be a call, uh, event. It's going to be in Spanish. So um, if any one of you or like uh, wants to promote the event, uh, it's very uh, welcome and, and thank thank. Cool. Um, thank you for that, Juan. Um, I don't think that I can go. Um, and Livia, I, if you need to jump off, um, I was hoping we would get uh, feedback also from Griff on uh, soft glove and culture, but I know you're uh, quite under the weather and I wouldn't want you to stay on if you're not feeling up for it at all. No, I can stay a little bit more. I just didn't understand if there was something else that we were going through. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, Griff, um, you were um, incommunicado for a few minutes. Are you back? Yeah, how's my connection? 
Sounds okay right now. Okay. Uh, so soft gov. Sadly, I can't see the mural board, but uh, I do think that there should be. Uh, I feel like I. I feel like I could definitely sync with the roadmap with Livia uh, async on this because uh, I do think that there are probably, we, we were talking a little bit about it today in Atta's call about like uh, just making sure that we have really strong cultural agreements that uh, we can then use, uh, work with comps to kind of make impose. And I don't know exactly which cultural agreements we want to focus on before the hatch, but the biggest one is, the fact that we're going to move from a, a uh, from the dandelion DAO to a to a bonding curve, you know, and just having that be a having that be in the handbook. And the other thing is the TC case study might happen have to happen. It, like I guess there might be a good deliverable like up to the hatch, and then like a second round after the hatch with some perspective. And so uh, yeah, it might take a few more months after the hats to know what went right, what went wrong. Yeah, I agree. I think the case study will be like an ongoing uh, study for, I would say even for the first year of TEC. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was one thing um, that you said earlier around communications, the TLDR for hatch params and the CIRA marketing. Um, uh, Jessica, what do you think about those two? Is that something that you think can be handled by the Params Working Group? I'm sorry, the, what, which? The TLDR the for TLDR. Hatch Params, mm -hmm. and then the... Um, yeah, I was planning to work together with them on it. Um, I'm open, like how that flows i was i actually i'm getting was getting some Shabna, feedback from shabnam on like how to format that and she was also going to help to send that around to get feedback from um our super brain folks and our uh subject matter experts so yeah that's i was kind of just going to discuss the format with her and then whether i started or if jake wants to take it on and then we like just work on it together. I can just edit it if somebody wants to, like, just to make it tight and easy to understand. I'm open to whatever. Yeah, that okay. sounds like a really good plan, actually. Yeah. The like, let, let us throw it together and then and work with Shabnam a little bit, and then uh, you you give it that special touch, add the memes, make it fun, and uh, and then like make it loud make it heard uh but i would love this the story canvas i think it's going to take i guess the big thing that i'd love to see out of comms is like a very per pervasive like one or two sentences like concept that represents the t the you know this experiment and then have that be pervasive throughout everything you know where people people understand i mean i'm not the comms expert for sure but i feel like uh that's probably a higher priority than like most of the other the the t the hatch tldr and the um crm stuff which crm stuff is probably just making sure that it happens right like that's chris and uh eduardo and the hat and onboarding yeah exactly that's what i was thinking too and part of this you know it's a process like because it's somewhat creative and i think the branding it's like putting that into words to capture like the essence and like the vibes if you want to call it and it's kind of like the call to action or like yeah something that stands out and then putting a bit of strategy around that while i can work on that while some of these other things get fleshed out yeah Um, okay, so it looks like we are really triangulating around this date of uh, Sprint 10 for a hatch, so early March. Um, I think uh, I would say probably all of these maybe we can flush out and in, in, uh, I will take a stab at putting together the, um, 
you know, the, a shareable roadmap based on what what's inside here and share it with everyone and see if it is uh, agreed that it can be shared publicly as well. Um, thank you everyone who's, who's stayed this long. <laughs> I think, uh, I hope this was very helpful to everyone. Um, especially being able to see what everyone else is working on. Um, I think I'm going to come back to it uh, a lot, actually, uh, in order to to really, I don't know, to see a bigger view of what, what everybody is working on and how it all fits in together. Um, is there anything else? So let me update um, or draft what I think a new roadmap can be and send it to everyone in this stewards group and then get feedback for that. Does that sound like a good next step? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, we didn't do transparency. Do we still want to talk about that? I, I just want to say one quick thing about that. Maybe uh, uh, like Griff say about like putting a forum post and a manifesto. I think that can be a, a fun practice to me to try to do it myself and then bring it up here together and we review it together. Or or maybe I I don't know. I, I'd like to do that. What do you guys think? Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. What is it? Uh, I uh, yeah actually uh, like we were talking with this with Griff. Uh, like uh, making a, a working group about all the videos we are posting, but I, uh, on transparency, I was also thinking uh, maybe there's another thing I, uh, I'm not doing or we're not doing that can be good to add. And besides that, of having all the videos content on on a platform. Would it be to like go over some of the special moments of the videos or like recap some? Yeah. What What would it be about? Oh, nice. Oh no 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 no! I mean that's a, that's a thing we could also do. Uh, uh no, I don't know. Uh, the first moment was uh, like making a work. I mean, for example, sometimes there is a lot of of calls, and I cannot uh, go to all of them, so. We have that working group, like some people can say, hey, I can take this one and stuff like that. So uh, we make sure like everything is in there. And uh, at, it also only not, not depends only on me. So it's the community doing that. And I think that's good. I mean, the main thing is Zeptimus already created a working group. We might as well just formalize it. It's like, IV, YGG, and Zep, and then like if there's a working group, then more people could join and lighten their load. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. I agree too because um, the idea of the group is to is to uh, divide the workflow and uh, to. Uh, avoid burnouts and if Sept Septimus continues going to every call at one point he's going to to not be able to continue so it's it, it would be great to have this this uh, uh group to to help and i love the the name transparency it's a really nice name and a really good purpose okay um with that um Thank you, everyone, for coming. Livia, get better soon. Thanks. This was awesome. This was really helpful. Thank you. Oh, cool. I'm glad. All right. All right, everyone. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thanks for the call. Ciao. Thank you, Tamara.